Hi, my name is Mike Olivella. I'm a professional sports photographer from Tallahassee, Florida. I'm in Chicago right now shooting the NCAA men's basketball tournament, March Madness. I've been with the Florida State basketball team, uh, following them through their uh, tournament run. Um, we played Texas A&M a couple of days ago and beat them. Today was practice day and tomorrow is the next game against Notre Dame. I thought I would create this video to kind of give you an inside the scenes or behind the scenes kind of a look at what it's like to shoot a, an NCAA basketball tournament like March Madness. So I've taken my flip video camera with me. I've been shooting the arena. I've been shooting press conferences. I've been shooting a lot of different things just so that I could give you an idea of what it's like to shoot this kind of an event. After the end of the video, I'm going to show you some of the photos that I've taken so you can get an idea of the kind of photography that I do for Florida State when I do something like this. So if you're ready, let me show you some of the stuff that I've done. As far as equipment that I've been using to shoot the event, I brought with me my standard assortment of lenses and camera bodies that I would typically take to a basketball game with the exception of adding a few things just out of an abundance of caution. So let me show you what I've got here. I've got a Nikon D300 body, a Nikon D3 body, and then I also brought my Nikon D50 just in case a camera crapped out or something happened so I'd have a spare even though it's not the most technologically advanced camera body at least it would be something to shoot with. Over here I've got a 300mm f2.8 lens. In this pouch here I've got a 35-70 f2.8 zoom lens. I have a 15mm f2.8 fisheye and then below that I have a 50mm f1.4 fixed lens. In this pocket I've got an 85mm fixed f1.8 my 80 to 200 f2.8 zoom lens and my 17 to 35 f2.8 wide angle lens. And over in here I've got my Nikon SB900 strobe for locker room shots and things along those lines. Some extra batteries in there and that's pretty much my kit. This is the United Center. This is the floor at the United Center. As you can see, they've got it all taped off in terms of where the photographers will be shooting from. And what they're going to do is they'll make little boxes and they'll assign a box to each individual photographer and that's where he or she has to shoot from. Hopefully I'll be right here, as close to the basket as I can get. This is the view that I will hopefully have when the game starts tomorrow. We're now underneath the bowels of the United Center. There are signs, obviously, that tell you everywhere to go. If you wanted to go to the media workroom, you'd go down that way. The photo workroom is in that direction. This is the photo workroom. That's where my stuff is over there. Quite a bit bigger than most of the ones I've been in. Since the Chicago Bulls play here, you can imagine. This is called hospitality, which is where we eat. This gentleman here will check the credentials to make sure we're allowed in here. I'm just going to video. Hi. Hi. Food is straight ahead and beverages are to the right. Okay, so how do your YouTube fans? <laughs> this is where they take care of us. This is the loading ramp where the team will come in from the bus and sign in before they head to their locker room. These folks over there will be doing the security. And then over here is where they sign in. This is the press center in the United Center. This is where all the print media and all the other reporters and whatnot assembled to cover the NCAA championships. Through here is the media interview room. Players and coaches are interviewed. 
Florida State locker room. Players are being interviewed by the media. Chris Singleton is hiding. Chris Singleton is hiding. <laughs> Bernard James. Carol's just chilling. <laughs> this is the view of the United Center from the very top level looking down onto the court. I'm getting a few wide angle shots of the arena from here. End of a timeout. FSU coming back out on the floor with the ball. This is my vantage point. Because it's an NCAA game, I can't kneel from the first row. I have to sit. But luckily, there's no huge bank of lights up top where I have to shoot at. So now I'm going to give you an idea of some of the photographs that I've taken while I've been here. Um, as team photographer, my job is to kind of memorialize the entire experience the team has gone through. So that includes, for example, I would take photos of the departure, the charter flight that we were on to fly up to Chicago, the arrival, that's our coach, and then once we got to the arena the day after the arrival, kind of memorialize the pageantry of the event with a shot of the arena and then from up top the scoreboard, the floor then I had access to the locker room where I was able to get a few shots of the team before they went out for their first practice and then on their way to the court and then the first practice then the next day, game day the Notre Dame team played against Akron and I got out onto the floor and took a few shots of the Notre Dame game against Akron. It kind of gave me a good idea of what the lighting would be like when Florida State played. So when Florida State got on the floor after the Notre Dame game, I had my white balance set and I had everything good to go. That's Coach John Thompson shaking hands with Chris Singleton. Thompson is one of the interviewers for uh, CBS, one of the broadcasters, former Georgetown Hoya coach. And today, we had access again to the locker room, and Florida State had a practice, and this is the Notre Dame locker room. And then the Florida State locker room. And of course, there's always press conferences, both before... Uh, game day and then after games where the players are interviewed as well as the coaches. That kind of gives you an example of what I've been doing since I've been up here. That pretty much wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Miguel Antonio Olivella, O-L-I-V-E-L-L-A, or www.baselineshots.com, which is my website on which I've got a blog. And I've also got links to YouTube, for example, for these videos. Tomorrow I get to go shoot Florida State Notre Dame. You'll be able to see some of my photos um, on Facebook as well as on my website. Thanks for watching.